Look at how awesome it is. He absolutely loves it. Oh my gosh, what a snake. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. And this has been a vlog I've been kind of thinking about ever since we installed this pond. And of course, you guys may be thinking what I'm thinking. I think we're gonna have to pull Bowser out because we don't wanna go in the pond with Bowser. And then I wanted to see if Elvis, the water monitor, could swim. Now, interestingly enough, when it comes to water monitors, sometimes they swim really well, and sometimes they've never been in a bunch of water. They don't know what they're doing. So we're gonna have a good time with that. And then we're gonna take Lucy out. We're gonna do a little swimming with Lucy. My big reticulated plate on too but first we have to get Bowser out which isn't exactly the easiest thing so let's see how that's gonna go come on Bowser he's already upset a little bit come on buddy off you go so of course Bowser it's about a 40 year old male alligator snapping turtle. You can see that big mouth right there. He's definitely not very happy right now. But what's funny is it seems like everyone that has a big alligator snapping turtle has the same exact story. And that story is, oh my God, there was a musket bullet hole in them and they pulled it out and they dated it all the way back to the Civil War. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't think that any snapping turtle has ever had a musket hole in it, but maybe I'm just being cynical. In this case, Bowser definitely is only 40 years old and doesn't date back to the Civil War. Regardless, I'm going to put him in here. Just let him hang out in here while we're messing with his pond. So, all right, what do you say? I get on some swim shorts, get in the pond, and mess with Elvis. And like I mentioned, I have been kind of dying to do this ever since I put this pond in because I think I wanted to be in here, put some animals in here, and actually have a good time. I will say it's a little chillier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, being at 84 degrees in here, I thought the water was going to be a little warm, but maybe that's just what it is and I'm just a wussy or whatever. Let's go ahead and see if Elvis can swim. And again, I've actually heard on occasion that these water monitors literally have to learn how to swim. And again, you would think these guys would be natural, but let's go ahead and see what Elvis thinks of this water. Come on, buddy. You wanna go for a swim? You wanna go for a swim? Climb up and go for a swim, buddy. Oh, look at his arms go back immediately. <laughs> Elvis, do you like it? Oh my God. Look at how awesome it is. He absolutely loves it. Oh my gosh, Elvis, that is awesome. Come on, buddy. Let's go swimming together. Oh, he is a natural. I mean, he's buoyant as could be. He definitely knows how to swim. He is, oh my God. This is something we'll have to do more often for sure because he is absolutely seeming like, look at him. Oh my gosh, is that awesome or what? I think people would even get a kick out of it. As much as I love Bowser in this tank, it's almost like I want to just keep him in this thing. It also makes me start thinking about maybe a future exhibit for Elvis where he has a big water feature like this because there is no doubt this animal is suited for the water. Come here. Look at him. Oh. Elvis, you're amazing. There you go, buddy. Go. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. This actually went way better than I even expected. Again, I thought it might take him a minute to figure out, but he is just completely natural. And this is the very first time that he's ever been in a big amount of water. We've soaked him in a tub before, and he certainly gets in his water bowl. That's a nice big bowl, but uh, this is the first time that he's actually in a couple feet of water. <laughs> Get this, man. Oh my gosh, that is freaking epic. Hey, buddy. Look at him just put his paws back, aerodynamic as it be, right through the water. Oh my God, these guys are built for this. This is absolutely awesome. So guys, that was absolutely a success. Elvis loved the water. He got a little bit of exercise, which I think is great. It's a great enrichment thing. This is something I'm absolutely gonna be doing more often. Uh, gosh, I don't know, maybe I'll ask Lori if I can actually let people come in and swim with Elvis. What do you think? Good idea? No, bad idea. Bad idea, what do you mean? Really bad idea. <laughs> This is a great experience. People would love this. Oh, no, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry, people, get your own. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pull Lucy out and see if she likes the pond. Now Lucy is up and we have to, of course, get her out of the cage. Uh, hopefully she'll be in a good mood. She loves water, so I think she's gonna be absolutely amazing, but uh, we gotta go in after her and hopefully wish for the best. Lucy, come on, girl. I'm here. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay, come on. 
Oh, I've got some fun planned for you today. You're gonna love it. That's right, girl. You're gonna have fun today. Don't you look at me that way. Oh, no, no, no. She's already going in the water. Oh, oh, I'm committed now. All right, good. I'll get this side. If you wanna just start pulling. Okay, good. All right. You guys got it for a second? Okay, come on, Lucy. I know you're gonna love this. Whoa. 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 Okay, this guy's okay. All right, so Lucy in the water. We'll see, she's gonna be a little bit harder to, oh, look, she's going right to the bottom. Oh my gosh, she's just totally in the water, underneath the water like this. Look at this, holy cow. She just disappears in this water again. Lucy absolutely loves being in the water. Look at her over here. She's completely submerged. I guess she's just coming up for a little breath of air. I tell you, I've never seen a snake that seems to love being in the water more than Lucy. Come on, girl. I just know there's a lot of things she can kind of get herself tangled in in here. We've got this tree, we've got some wires for lighting to get back in the waterfall, so I've got to keep a close eye on her and hope for the best. Come on, Lucy, come this way, baby. Come on. There you go, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, just look at that. Oh, I tell you what, guys, I love spending time with Lucy in the water because she's just a different snake. And when she's in the water, she is just a sweetheart. She seems to be so happy and just so deliberate. Oh my gosh, Lucy, that's so awesome, girl. Are you having fun, honey? Oh. Again, I now I just wish I had a big zoo where I could have a huge pond for Lucy and, and Elvis and, and all these animals because obviously they absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, what a snake. <laughs> Is that freaking awesome? I mean, again, Daisy doesn't seem to like it. All my other Burmese that I've tried, they don't seem to like it. I think Casper may very well like it because when I soak Casper, he seems to really love the water. So maybe at some point, if you guys want to, I'll bring Casper in here too. And again, I think we should talk more into letting people have this experience. I mean, when are you gonna ever get an opportunity to swim with a 20 foot python like this. Okay, Lori's probably smarter than me because there's probably some liability issues that you shouldn't be doing with like that. But I just think it's such an amazing experience that I wish I could just share it with everybody. Oh, there you go, girl. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's making a little bit of a mess of the, the actual pond. We're gonna have to clean up the pond a little bit, but it's certainly been worth it. What an amazing experience with Lucy and, and Elvis. Oh, look at her down there. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you guys are gonna have to do this sometime. Seriously, you really do. I mean, this is freaking epic. Both of Yeah, yeah. We'll literally have to do it sometime, seriously, because this is so awesome. As much as I could sit here and play with Lucy and Elvis all day in the pond, and I certainly could, we do have to open up for the Reptarium in just a short while. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, hand Lucy off to the crew, let them get her back in her cage, and then we'll clean this mess up that I made. Okay, Lucy, you ready to go back, honey? I know you are, you're probably like, no, please, let me play. You guys gotta get a little wet. Uh, you okay? Okay, there we go. Up on in, Andrea, quick, 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 jump in. Yep. Okay, good job. Oh, doggy, was that absolutely incredible? 
I love it. That was so much fun. Thank you guys for helping out. I couldn't have done it without my backup here. Not only did they help me get Lucy out, Lori was my camera person on this job, and I did rip her a little bit about the swim experiences, but the truth is she's probably much smarter as I am. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this. If you'd want to come swimming with Lucy or Elvis or whatever the case is, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and get dried off, get this pond cleaned up, and get ready for the reptarium. You guys have no idea how much I am just shining on the inside right now. That was incredible, and I seriously mean it. I wish I could somehow devise a way where you guys could come and swim with Daisy or swim with Elvis. I don't think it's possible. Honestly, I really don't think it's possible, but man, I wish you guys could share an experience like that. I hope that you enjoyed at least watching it. It was absolutely epic, but with that said, we have to open up the Reptarium in a few minutes, get all our last minute preparations done, and have an amazing night together. She's, That's why I wanted to sing well. We had another victim tonight, the first time you held a snake. Hey. Yes. And you were snake. A big snake. A big snake, and you did good with Snazzy. Yes, she did fabulous. I love it, I love it. And this is the, the person that made it happen, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> when you're done, just let me know. He's kind of weird. He's pretty good right now. <laughs> 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 Sunday. Definitely having a great time here at the Reptarium. I try not to bore you guys with the same thing every night, so just give you a little tidbit of what's been happening here. Absolutely incredible. A lot of kids today, which I absolutely love when a bunch of kids come in because they get to hold everything and they really enjoy themselves, so it's been a really fun night kind of educating kids especially. Of course, a lot of great adults were here too, but the kids were absolutely amazing tonight. As things are winding down at the Reptarium, we actually have tomorrow is a big ship day, right? Yes, it is. Is you going to be all right? So tomorrow, I think we're going to take you on a journey with Lori who's probably going to be losing her mind because of course we had the big Black Friday sale. Thank you for everyone that bought stuff. It was really successful. Yes it was. <laughs> that Which means a lot of work for me. <laughs> yeah means a lot of work for Lori. So we're going to take you tomorrow through the day of how it is to pack up. What do we have like a hundred and something shipments going out tomorrow something like that? Um, yeah I, I'm not sure. A lot. A lot. So we have about half the shipments are going to go out tomorrow and then the other half are going out later this week. So uh, like I said, like a hundred and something packages are going to have to go out with a lot of animals in it. So we're going to take you on a journey. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. As for now, uh, I'm going to go shut the Reptarium down and end the night. And there it is, guys. The day is come to an end. Really awesome time with Lucy and Elvis. Again, I don't know. I've been brimming all day long about it. We had a great time at the Reptarium too. But the night has to end and so does this vlog. With that said, I wish you guys an absolutely amazing amazing day, evening, night, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me. And as always, I'm going to tell you I love you because I truly do. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn the post notification on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today and I promise I will see you tomorrow. You know.